Hello everybody, my name is Henry. I'm a Slovak violinist who is living in Japan, in Sendai city already for 12 years. I love this country, I love all, I love all this, these people, wonderful people. I have many friends here. And uh, as you know, two months before we were hit by huge earthquake and after following tsunami on the ocean side many cities were just wiped out and uh, after this we were we are still facing the nuclear crisis in Fukushima Daiichi uh, I would like to speak only about one thing you know I don't want to speak this is going so bad or you know it's maybe going better not about this. I want to speak about our ignorance. Our ignorance to the things which are right now happening. Our fathers and us, we believed to all those people who were trying to tell us that the nuclear energy is safe, that the radiation is safe, and uh, we believe them. Partly it was quite comfortable, you know, to just to take all this energy source and probably to pay for it and, you know, just to receive it. But uh, I think even more bigger disaster than Fukushima would be our ignorance to it. We have to be more critical to all those people who were trying to tell us that nuclear energy is safe. As you see, after Chernobyl and Fukushima Daiichi accident, that nuclear energy is very dangerous and unsafe. And uh, it is affecting many, many people. Still, there are governments and people who are trying to tell us that it's safe. They are uh, setting higher standards for the children to receive more, more radiation. I think this is very, very wrong. You know, uh, in Germany there is a limit, the same limit, just like they set for the children. Uh, in uh, Koryama and Fukushima city. But this limit is for the workers at the nuclear plant in Germany. Where are we going? We are accepting this. I know this is not easy for anybody, especially for those parents in Koryama and Fukushima city and other more other places in Fukushima prefecture. But if we start to ignore this, is not good. We have to speak out and we have to show what we feel about this. You know, I know to change everything will be not easy. This can take 50 years, 60, maybe 100 years until we would try to find a new source of energy. But we have to start somewhere. Definitely, we cannot start by ignoring that the nuclear energy is really unsafe and right now uncontrollable. So this is just a small message from me and I'm starting with this video. Thank you for listening until the end. Bye guys.